that felt is the most stressful job I've ever done. And that felt is the most stressful job I've ever done. So, um, as you've seen there, that was just a time lapse of me attempting the first time, for the first time, uh, fitting skirting boards. Uh, my dad's done it everywhere else, uh, bar the kitchen, which the joiners did, or kitchen fitters did. Um, but yeah, what an experience. But as you can see, they're all cut there. That one is um, obviously they're not stuck in place. That one's gone now. But yeah, um, what an experience. Not something I enjoy, but we got there. Um, so what I've done is I've scribed the inner corners, such as that one, um, and then mitered the outer corners. Um, watching a lot of YouTube videos, I were. Um, I was looking into it and because some of these corners, um, if you look like, look straight down, they're not 90 degrees. Um, so I looked into bisecting or working out how you, you do that. But it never worked, um, could never get the angle and uh, I just resorted back to cutting at 46 degrees or probably just shy of 46 degrees. And I seem to get it every time. And I don't know if that's just luck or what, but when that's closed up, bottom needs to be pushed in a bit there, but that's got it. Um, and same with that side. So, so yeah, I'm not sure about that, but uh, we've done it. Um, yeah, so um, I'll take you through some of the tools I've used, uh, some I had to buy, but as you can see, they're not, they're not stuck on yet. So what my next plan is, um, so basically what I've done is, I've numbered from that one all the way around. Um, so what I'm gonna do now, take them all off, paint them with the first coat of uh, eggshell that we've done around the house, and then um, stick them on then. Uh, then I'll cork around the top, decorator's cork. There's a few areas it's not perfect. I'm not, I'm gonna be the first one to say. Such as things like, there's a bit of a gap there, um, but as I've gone round, I've got better and better at it. So, so yeah, then I can cork, then I can apply the second coat. And the reason I'm doing that way is we've obviously got the new flooring down um, and I don't want to get as much on. So if I can get one coat on, then that's, uh, that's a positive. Whether you know or not, the doors are supposed to be changed. We've ordered them as and when 
they arrive we don't know because of uh, the current situation so so yeah um another thing to touch on so obviously we've got entrance matting that's going there if you've seen on uh, instagram i did temporarily put that in until i put the skirt or did the skirting board now what we've had to do is i've just notched out that one and then cut these ones um with my new table saw which i'll show you in a second and um, just slice the bottom off six mil and um, so they all sit at the same height and uh, actually easier than i thought and um, once the tail saw's set you can sort of get them all cut and uh, and all ready to go such as that one uh, and these long bits all around um, the floor actually goes up there so i've had to cut that one at an angle and get the mitre right but yeah certainly a learning curve so let's go through the tools that i've used so while we're in here firstly spirit level i've also got a small mini one which is brilliant to know when the skirting boards are level and then i use a variety just to check the floor before doing them i've also been using the sort of um, masonry chisel and uh, and hammer just to get the edges off because where this sort of screed were on the edges it, it sort of curved up so i've just chiseled away at them uh, just so the skirting board can go flush up at the bottom and um, so yeah so let's head into the garage so a couple of tools here um the evolution mitre saw absolutely brilliant bit of kit uh, and saved a lot of hassle look at the mess it's caused and that's my next job now uh, and then also we've bought the evolution uh, table saw as well which has been an absolute godsend so i've got them done um been using them and um yeah and then it's just been a case of bought some new uh files silver line fell to bits already um jigsaw we've used and then uh, just your generic stuff but look here yeah, handles down there so um but never mind uh, they were cheap i think they were nine pound for the full set of them so that's about it so get the time lapse going need to tidy up um but we've made good progress and um yeah sorry couldn't do a tutorial um i think it's wrong to do tutorials if i've never done it before so that's why i've not so um what we'll do get tidied up and then we'll get on with painting So garage tidied, um, next job is painting. So what we're gonna do, taking them all off as explained, um, and then we're gonna paint them. Uh, I'm going for Dulux eggshell. We've done it so far everywhere. Um, I actually like the matte or satiny finish. Um, so we'll get these painted. I'm gonna take them off, paint them in the garage. I've numbered them all and uh, then look to put them on once they're dry uh, and then we'll do this corking and then the second coat so yeah let's get cracking it's a lovely day out doing the garage uh, door open a bit of music on and uh, it should go pretty well so let's get cracking
So it's on. Um, we've coped, first coat of paint's on, and I have filled a few places uh, with wood filler, um, just like there, where the gap was a bit bigger than I'd have liked. Um, that's just where the adhesive stuck out, but yeah, very happy. Um, yeah, I'm uh, very pleased with it. Um, so I've coat around the top, as you can see there, just to neaten the edge up. And uh, so now I'm going to let this dry and then look to get the second coat of paint on probably in the morning. Um, and then that's it done. So yeah, um, can't do this bit, unfortunately. They're all cut ready, um, but I'm waiting on that one bit of architrave uh, to arrive, which is coming next week. That's cut, that one's cut, so it's just a case of scribing that and doing that one. Um, but I didn't want to fix the skirting um, until um, the architrave's on. Um, because it, I'd rather sort of fix the skirting once the architrave's on and in place and I know where it needs to be. Um, but I don't want to put that one on until I've got the other two. And then same with that bit round there. A um, bit unsure what comes first. Do we have the architrave um, and the skirting books up to it or the other way around? I'm not sure yet. I'll describe this architrave around the skirting board um, so i'd say in the comments put what you think um but this video won't be live and i'll have done it by then so um i know it will be yeah but no um so this oh that's it this video will be live before i've done that so so yeah um we'll leave the corking to dry um set in place and then i can get the second coat of paint on, just need to be careful around the antico, um, but it's coming together, very happy. First time ever doing skating board, uh, I've watched my dad do it plenty in the other rooms as well, um, and all the tools have been got sent for it, such as them two. Um, the miter saw, which Evolution kindly gave me to review, highly recommend, and then I went on and purchased the uh, the table saw that'll come in handy for things like the the architrave that I need to scribe and cut so I could cut the bulk off and then trim with the the um, what's it called uh, the jigsaw so so yeah and then I've got my supply of cork grip fill grip adhesive there um, and then cork now this stuff uh, i don't think it's too bad actually from what i've just used it's the it's from trade point at b and q and uh, it was six pound for a box of nine so relatively cheap you do use a lot and same with the grip fill um i do have some skirting board adhesive uh, however it were six or seven pound for a tube i've used two tubes on just that bit of skirting board today um so as you can imagine it adds up whereas the green grip fill, um, same manufacturer, works a treat, um, is £2 odd, uh, maybe £2.50 a, a tube. And just a little note, uh, we've discovered by doing the skirting boards in this house, the grip fill, leave it in the house for 24 hours, 48 hours before, so much easier to use uh, and a lot less strain on your hands. So, so yeah, uh, we'll get back to it in the morning, second coat of paint on, careful of the floor, and uh, yeah, I'll see you then.
and that concludes the skirting boarding so so at the start of this video it was the most stressful thing i've done but definitely worth it look at that something to be proud of i think it looks great especially now we've got the flooring on and it's all finished um so yeah um a bit of a recap cut all the skating board um didn't find it very useful bisecting uh, so we went for 46 degrees everywhere it seems to have worked a um, few corners i'd have to use a bit of wood filler um but once they're all cut put them in place numbered them all and then um, I painted the first coat um, and then we stuck them on, coat the top, which gives it a nice sort of finish there, around the top, sort of the transition between the, um, the wall and the skirty board. And then I gave it the second coat. And then to finish it all off, I put down the entrance matting, um, glued it down and then put the door bar on although I need to buy a new one um, just damage the end cutting it and then some screws as well but it gives you an overall feel I think it looks great let me know what you think in the comments and give the um, video a thumbs up if you think I did a good job because I'm proud of myself so yeah thanks for watching um, hope others it gives them a bit of inspiration to, to have a go themselves you do need the tools um, I couldn't have done it without everything I've got in there. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, hold tight for another video coming very soon. Cheers.